Hey there, beautiful souls. It's Janelle here from Rock Solid Relationship Coaching. Today, we're going to dive deep into a topic that might make some of you a little uncomfortable, but trust me, it's a game changer. We're talking about embracing vulnerability and how it can transform your relationship. Imagine you're standing on the edge of a cliff, looking down at the crystal clear water below. You know that the jump will be exhilarating, but it's also terrifying. That's vulnerability. It's the leap of faith we take when we open ourselves up, expose our true feelings, and let someone else see us as we truly are, warts and all. Vulnerability is like the secret ingredient in the recipe of a healthy relationship. It's like the yeast in bread. Without it, the dough remains flat, but with it, the dough rises, becoming something warm, nourishing, and delicious. Now I know what you're thinking. Janelle, vulnerability is scary. What if I get hurt? And you're right, vulnerability is scary. It's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. But here's the thing, without that risk, without that fear, we can never truly connect with another person. Think of it like this. Imagine your relationship is a garden. Vulnerability is the rain. Yes, too much can cause a flood, but without it, the garden withers and dies. It's the rain that allows the garden to bloom, to grow, to thrive. Embracing vulnerability means letting go of the fear of rejection, the fear of not being good enough. It's like taking off a heavy coat you've been wearing for too long. It's liberating, it's freeing, and it allows you to be your authentic self. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we invite our partners to do the same. It's like opening a door and saying, come in, I trust you. I'm not perfect and that's okay. You're not perfect either and that's okay too. Remember, vulnerability is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. It's the courage to be yourself, to show your true colors, to let someone else see the real you. It's like standing in the spotlight on a stage, not knowing if the audience will applaud or boo, but standing there anyway because it's who you are. So, how can you embrace vulnerability in your relationship? Start small, share something personal, something real. It's like dipping your toe in the water before diving in. And remember, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. That's part of the process. I hope this has given you some food for thought. Remember, I'm here to help you navigate these waters. If you have any questions or need some personalized advice, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or reach out to me directly. And don't forget to check the video description for a link to my website where you can book a session. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more relationship insights. Remember, embracing vulnerability is a journey, not a destination. It's a process, not a one-time event. So take that leap of faith, embrace your vulnerability, and watch your relationship transform. Until next time, keep loving, keep growing, and keep being you.